Hey, how's it going? And thanks for passing by. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look on how to enable anti-x-ray onto your server. We're not gonna download any plugins. We're not gonna need any weird files. All you need to do is make sure you have PaperMC installed and that's really all you need. For this, I'm gonna show you how the server looks beforehand. I'm gonna go into options, resource pack, and actually enable my X-Ray Ultimate 9th, well, I don't even know. I just downloaded it off a random website. Probably got malware, who knows? But as you can see right here, it's not that difficult to find ores at the moment. I can easily see where some are right now just by going and digging down. I mean, as long as I don't hit the tree along the process. And there we go. We have some copper. I actually have a lot of copper around here. But as you can see, it's not difficult. It does look weird, but it's not difficult to find ores with a simple resource pack. And this can be very frustrating if you have a server and you don't want players to be abusing the system while well, hacking in this case. So now you saw how it looks like. And what we're gonna do is enable two methods and you can see the difference. Right now it was all set to false. And what we can do is enable it now. To do that, we're gonna go into our server and this one is sponsored by Revive Notes. So if you wanna check them out in the description down below, use the promo code diamond in all caps to get 15% off your very first purchase. You can use it to play with friends or start your very own server or even enable this feature right now. And as you can see, I already have Paper MC installed. And you'll notice you have that when you can check Check out this single file right here paper.yml if you're using the later versions it will not be here but if you're using older versions you'll see paper.yml and you can ignore this dot readme part because you would not have it but for newer versions of paper mc you need to go to config and then right here you have paper world dash default and as you can see we have anti x-ray right now it's set to false we can enable that just by setting it to true and at the moment it's set to engine one and i'll show you what engine one looks like and all we can do now is just click stop and kill the server actually and then we can start it back up then we'll hop back into minecraft and see the difference of not enabled to engine one and i'll tell you which one is my favorite because there are two engines in total you can use hopping back into the server now one thing you may not have noticed but it's set to a default value of 64. so what that means is everything above will not be affected which is 64 and above however everything below 64 as you can see will be affected so let's try to check it out as you can see here this is 64 and above i can check that by just going my f3 screen and as you can see on the top left you can see 64 and above would be above here so that means anything above will work perfectly fine and this is engine one now let's try to go lower and as lower we go it's gonna get harder as you can see these weren't even showing up beforehand i could go more and as you can see another one just showed up the reason this is happening because engine one is a lot lighter but i highly prefer engine two and you'll see why in a bit but it's always not going to be a hundred percent and always not always going to hide everything but it can be a super easy system to use and just more lightweight in general so that was engine one let's go ahead and check out engine two to do so, we're going to hop back in the files, we're going to go back into the config, and then we're going to go to Paper World. And this time we're going to enable Engine 2. We're going to save that, and then we're going to restart the server one more time. Let's hop back in the server, and this time I already have the texture pack pre-enabled. And as you can see, it, is, it does have a world of a difference here, especially on certain values of the world. And... You may think you're lucky and there are a ton of ores right now around here, but that's not the case. This is just the engine doing its job. But as soon as you actually mine into the block, you can see I'm actually going to disable my, my shader pack because this gets very heavy due to all the transparency happening within the shader pack. But as you can see, it's not the case. As soon as you start mining down, it's just stone. There's nothing here at all. And they'll keep on changing because of how engine 2 works and it really is amazing this helps a ton of course they could be using modded clients or anything between for the general things this will help you out a ton now if we check on our f3 screen you can see it it starts at level 63 to 64 and that is perfectly fine because that's how it's set up in the configuration you can change that just by going into line 43 and changing the height of it that's why you don't see it above but we can change this to put a much higher value and you can change every single ore that you want to be added here or even other custom blocks such as command blocks for example or it's stone or anything really but overall this is how you would change any of those aspects you can even add one i didn't even know that was here was clay because it is a very valuable material that takes a while to collect but again if you want to set this up really easy 
just come into the file, enable NC X-Ray and make sure it's set to engine two, which in my preference is the best engine. And there you have it guys, that was how to enable NTX ray without adding a single plugin into your server. Really hope this video was informative and that you learned something new. If you guys liked it, make sure to leave a like in the video, it really helps out the algorithm. Other than that, hope you guys have an amazing day and I'm Diamond, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.